Hello, I'm James Rostron, Senior Deputy Head Teacher here at GEMS Wellington International School. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video about the GCSE options process for your children in Year 9 this academic year. There are many things that make the GCSE programme here at Wellington International School outstanding. The academic achievements of our students is very, very high. In 2021, 52% of all grades were an A star or a nine or A grade. 70% of all grades were nine to seven or an A star or A. Our students make a very, very high level of progress with an average of two grades above their targets for all subjects. The outstanding learning and teaching by our team of highly qualified and experienced GCSE teachers. A continuous process of monitoring and supporting our students through their GCSE years. Our outstanding wisdom intervention program for students. And finally, the suite of qualifications subjects and pathways that we offer our students here at Wellington International School that makes the curriculum challenging, inclusive, engaging and aspirational. The core subjects in the GCSE curriculum are English language and literature, science, for which students take chemistry, physics, and biology, GCSE mathematics, a language which could include Arabic, French, Spanish, German, or the dual language program that we offer here at Germans Wellington International School. In addition to that, students continue with core PE lessons through year 10 and year 11. And finally, for the Ministry of Education curriculum subjects, students continue with social studies of the UAE until the end of year 10. They continue with moral education through year 10 and year 11. Our Arabic B students continue with Arabic until the end of year 10. And our Arabic A students continue with the Arabic A Ministry of Education curriculum and Islamic Studies curriculum through year 10 and year 11. This is a very common question that I receive from parents and families who are new to the British curriculum system and who, who are new to the GCSE, IGCSE programme that we offer here at GEMS Wellington International School. In essence, the difference between the GCSE and the IGCSE really comes from the I part of the IGCSE, which stands for international. Both qualifications are equivalent. They are both taught in international schools and UK-based schools in the United Kingdom, and they are recognized by universities and employers as being equivalent. The IGCSE qualifications that we offer here at Wellington International School are more adapted for international students. So the subject's content, the syllabus, has been somewhat adapted to an international audience of students that are studying in British curriculum schools around the world. In addition to that, the BTEC qualifications that we offer here as part of our GCSE programme are more work-related qualifications where students develop the skills that are relevant for a particular career or industry. What also makes the BTEC qualifications very unique and interesting is the fact that they are very practical based with coursework projects continuing over the course of the two years in year 10 and in year 11. And the BTEC qualifications do not currently have any form of external examinations at the end of year 11, which makes them a very interesting choice for some of our students.
Firstly, there's no right or wrong way to choose GCSE subjects. My best piece of advice that I give to students and parents year on year is to choose subjects that you think your children and that your children think that they will be interested in studying for two years and maybe even longer into IB and further on to university as well. If this is the case, then it's highly likely that they will also succeed in these subjects. Another approach that some of our families and students like to take is to consider career paths and how certain subjects that we offer here or combinations of subjects can lend themselves well to particular career paths. We encourage our students to choose subjects from a wide range of different groups as mentioned previously to keep their options open by achieving a broad and balanced curriculum. And finally, one other consideration is progression to the sixth form and the IB programmes of study that we offer here at Wellington International School. Further information will be given to you about the IB programmes of study, the subjects we offer, and the entry requirements for those as well, for you to explore this and to also consider this when making choices for the GCSE programme. There's a huge amount of support that will be in place this academic year for your children to really guide them through this process. From a careers perspective, your children will have the opportunity to interact and work with our dedicated careers counsellor here in school. We also provide your children with access to an online platform called Morrisby, which again really gets them thinking about their careers and their potential strengths, which can link very nicely to particular subjects that we offer here as part of the GCSE programme. In addition to that, there will be assemblies, there will be opportunities to speak to our current year 10 and year 11 students about their experiences of the different subjects that we offer here at school. There will be an opportunity for your children to meet one-to-one -to -one with members of our senior leadership team where they can discuss their options, the subjects they've chosen and also their aspirations as well. And finally, and very importantly, we give your children the opportunity to complete what we call taster lessons in a number of the optional subjects and in particular those optional subjects that don't exist in the Year 9 curriculum. Further details of the timeline for the GCSE option process will be shared with you very shortly. This will detail more about the, the dates that we're expecting your children to have chosen their subjects, when they will be meeting with members of the senior leadership team as well. Finally, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been useful and we look forward to seeing you and your children in school in November for our GCSE Options Evening event.